uh, SPK3 to do a review on. Um, it's a nice little probe. I like it a lot. I've tried it out in the field a few times. I do have this one um, that we're going to just run through, through the paces. All right. So basically, it is. I have my pulse furnace for the shop that's all set up and running and whatnot, and stabilized. So uh, first, out of the box. Uh, it's got a backlight display. Um, it's got two ways of sensing. It's got the, the induct probe here, um, as well as uh, infrared. I mean, you guys can't see that, but it's uh, got an infrared probe, so it gives you the temperature that way as well. As well, it's got a T1 and T2 set up so you can do a temperature split across the furnace, air handle, whatever you're working on. Um, it's got a little clip here. Uh, I don't really trust that. However, it's nice if you just need to clip it on your shirt pocket while you're working real quick. Um, so it's got a min-max setting on it also, so this way you can record your minimum and maximum temperature spin. Um, so let's run it through its paces. Uh, the nice thing it does have is this little clip right in here, this little notch, which actually helps to, to get inside the duct and, and lock it in. So I'll show you that and we'll take it through. All right, so let's check this out. <coughs> so what we want to do is select it on rod, which automatically flips the temperature display over for you. Um, so you can clip it in there, it's, it's locked in, it'll hang. Its thing. Um, what we'll do is we'll set it up for T1. It starts blinking and it's recording the T1 temperature. So this way when we go to do the T2, we can hit the button, bring it down to the, the return down here and get that measurement. And once we hit it again, then it'll give us the temperature split between the two. So we'll give it a second to, uh, to stabilize and we'll be back in a minute. So we kind of maxed out at about 118 degrees here now. So what we'll do is we'll hit the T1, T2, and it starts recording T2. We can pull it out and put it in this. Into the return. We don't have any duck work hooked up to the return because it's just a shop anyway. So um, yes, I do know that filter needs to be changed. So that will be done. So that 55.6 is our temperature split. So I know I'm good. My furnace itself is set for a temperature split or a temperature rise somewhere between uh, 30 and 70. So I'm good. Um, so it's an easy way to, to check that all out. Uh, the other nice feature, like I said, is the infrared. Now the infrared works very easily once you set it's got these two little buttons, one for the IR, one for the rod. Once you flip it to the IR, actually we'll clear that, pull that and it'll clear it. Once we flip it to the IR, it flips the, the screen over, so it becomes kind of intuitive with the way you're holding it. Uh, you hit the measurement button, the little red dot shows up, right there, and that's what you're shooting at. So, you shoot down somewhere in there, around 55, 
what we could do too is even do a T1, T2 split with the infrared. So we can go turn around 54, 55. Reverse, it's it is negative, so pretty close to the other. I mean, it, it is off a bit, but not too bad using infrared to do that for a quick uh, idea. So I like it. Uh, I like it so much. I hate to do this. However, if I do get 100 likes on this video and some everybody who comments then will be entered I will ship it out I will do a random uh, random pick from the uh, comments and like I said as long as I have a hundred likes on this video or just break a hundred likes I will pick a random comment and that person will be the proud owner of that SPK3 um, so, like this video, subscribe, helps me, helps you, keeps you in touch with, with me as far as when I do new videos, um, and I will catch you on the next one. We'll make this kind of easy. Up here, you can click to subscribe. Over here, you can click to follow me on Google+. Plus. All right? I will catch you. Sit down.